would be WNTH Winnetka, WVVX Highland Park, Illinois, WXLC 97X. Ian Punnett's been in radio a long time, since high school. So I started radio in 1974. I just knew I was too small to play on my township high school football team. I gotta find another way to meet girls. Yeah. So radio sounded like a plan. Nine minutes before eight o'clock, 18 I'm Archie. He came to Minnesota more than 10 years ago and soon began hosting My Talk 1071 morning show with Marjorie Punnett. I've had uh, the opportunity to work with my wife and to do a radio show for 10 years with my wife and have fun doing it. I mean, how many people get that chance? I mean, Mr. Mister was kind of a... But it's not pop music or happy chatter that dominates the airwaves in Ian's head these days. It's unbearably loud. It's the loudest noise I'm, I'm hearing right now, and it's the loudest noise uh, I can hear even standing next to a waterfall. I can, I can hear this. In fact, it sounds exactly like that right now. It's called tinnitus, and there are many ways you can get it. Pete Townsend blames loud music. People like Dave Letterman share his pain. Do you remember the first time you noticed it? Because the first time I noticed I had it, it was quite alarming. The first time I ever had a sustained you know, 30, 40 seconds of it was after a state fair. And I thought it was something that was being played over the loudspeakers. Until I looked around and nobody else was you know, on their knees with it like I was. My tinnitus once buried me in a negative place where many of you are now. Nothing, nothing, nothing drowns out the tinnitus. Tinnitus has many origins, nerve damage, genetic. So it's a neurological phenomenon. But so now, after three years of struggling with tinnitus, the constant pain and noise, Ian is stepping away from radio hoping to find a quiet life. This is part of a larger plan, and God never takes us halfway. And so I don't know what the other piece of this is, but there's another side to this, and I just look forward to what that's gonna turn out to be. I, I may have lost a career to tinnitus. I may have lost a radio show that I couldn't continue to do and then also get better doing at the same time to tinnitus, but when it comes to something like that shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, I have no problems. My life is problem free. So what I get for Christmas is I get my two boys coming home to me from college. And that's all any of us could ever hope for.